Hi, I'm the G-Man, and this is my take here on the G-Man Show. Appreciate you tuning in. Looking back on UFC 146, the all-heavyweight uh, card, we had a terrific time. It worked out wonderful for, for everybody involved. Uh, it was a, a huge success in the main card, of course. Junior Dos Santos, the man they call Cigano. This guy has got some powerful hands. Let me tell you, he, he defeated Frank Mir. He stopped him in the second round. Mir was game. He tried to take down Dos Santos. Dos Santos is very fast, very quick feet for a big man. Frank Mir will attest to that. He talked about it at the post-fight press conference. Also, Sagano with the big with the big punch. Uh, this guy's got quick hands, too, and the power he generates is unbelievable. I look for this guy to be there for quite some time. He's going to buck the trend of winning a championship and then losing it quickly. I think he's going to defend a number of times. Can't tell you exactly how many, but uh, one of these days, maybe maybe we'll go out on the limb and pick a number. But uh, all, all congratulations to Sagano Jr. Dos Santos. Uh, a lot of people still in the press room. I talked with several of the reporters. Some of them said they're still not sold on him. You're not sold on him. Ask Frank Mir. Do you think he's sold on him? Come on, guys. Then, Cain Velasquez. He bounces back with a big win against Antonio Bigfoot Silva. It looks, looks like he's going to uh, fight uh, Dos Santos, get a rematch, try to win his title back, get some revenge. Uh, he looked very impressive. So we'll talk about that fight as it gets closer. Of course, let the guys enjoy themselves a little bit. On a sad note, we lost one of the terrific, great champions from back in the 90s, Johnny Tapia, in the late 80s and 90s. Uh, he, he was found dead in his apartment, in his home in uh, uh, New Mexico. Uh, our condolences to uh, Teresa, his wife, and to the Tapia family. We're so very sorry. Johnny was always a gentleman. He had his demons, but he never let them get in the way uh, with you. If one-on-one, -on -one, he was an uh, affable type guy. He, he, he was a pleasure to be around. And uh, people that knew him and people that loved him as a fighter are going to miss him, uh, miss his presence around boxing. Uh, our condolences to the Tapia family. And also get well to Paul Williams, who uh, was going to fight Canelo Alvarez. Uh, and now he was in a terrible accident, a motorcycle accident in Georgia. And uh, the first reports, early reports out are is that he's uh, paralyzed from the waist down. Uh, don't know anything for sure. Don't want to project anything. Just want you to get well, Paul, uh, and, uh, you know, move on from there. But uh, the boxing is not important at this point. But uh, our prayers are with, are with you and your family. I want to thank you also very much for tuning in. Uh, hey, listen, if you have letters uh, or anything to say to me, emails, send them in. Uh, we'll answer them, text, whatever and uh, get back to you, but only positive things. I'm a very positive guy. I don't like negativity around me. I'm just kidding. Send in. I know you're going to disagree with me. Send him in. If you don't like Dos Santos, you tell me why, and I'll tell you why I like him, and we'll go one-on-one uh, -on -one with that, okay? Sigano! Until then, keep your hands up, your chin down, shoot the jab, and don't make me look for you. All right, here on the G-Man Show, let's do it!